Hello and welcome to Blender Meter. This is going to be a, a small tip that I wanted to share with you as I was going through a modeling session some days back. I faced a very a simple problem. I would not call it a problem also, but there was a, a point where I got stuck up a little bit, uh, not knowing what to do and how to do, and finally found out a a rather very uh, simple and easy method which doesn't didn't seem to occur to me and uh, I thought I could share it with you it's a uh, basically a quick tip regarding uh, UV and wrapping uh, so let me just browse you through the procedure so we have the default scene here just delete it and I'm going to create a UV sphere. Okay, the topology or the model is not uh, very specific, so just uh, smooth it. And going to the front view, Control Alt Zero would bring my camera to the front view. So just selecting the camera, pushing the camera, Shift F would uh, enter into the fly mode. G and just bring it up and with the light just in front of the object somewhere in between the uh, camera and the object let me take a quick render so uh, this is what we have here and uh, again shift F and G what I'm trying to get here is uh, uh, sort of a top view of the object. I would like to see more of the top of the object rather than the other areas. So, because that is where I'm going to concentrate now. Okay, now we have a, a sphere here. Just select this sphere, add a material, go to the materials tab, add a material. The settings are not uh, as important. Now, this is basically a, a spherical object and I would like to uh, map an image onto it. So normally uh, the general problem or the general difficulty which we face, everybody faces is the uh, placement of the texture over this uh, spherical surface. So uh, suppose I go to the texture tab, add a new texture and uh, basically I am going to add a image so open up and uh, this is uh, some of the images created in photoshop uh, let me take this this is a this is a banner which I created for my company virtual reality media group okay now i have mapped this particular image which is a, a jpeg onto the sphere now if i take a quick render and see we see that uh, this uh, image is not placed or this texture is not placed properly on the sphere as we wanted. So here uh, we could see a lot of uh, disorientation of the texture over the uh, topology of the sphere. So this is not what we want and particularly uh, on a spherical surface you you know the topology all the vertex seem to be meet uh, meeting here at one single point and there is a, a lot of pressure over that particular point. So the texture placement over that point particularly is going to be very difficult it is not going to be proper so to change this or to correct this I, I was just looking for a lot of uh, techniques and options and I was uh, searching over the internet for a lot of things and couldn't find uh, a suitable uh, convincing solution to this uh, remember that I have not UV and wrapped this particular sphere okay uh, so basically one would go with the thought that you need to UV and wrap this sphere and then uh, going into the UVG, UV image editor as far as Blender is concerned going into the UV image editor adjusting the uh, texture placements and things and like uh, things like that uh, we need to uh, go through a, a big procedure and things like that that's what I was also thinking but uh, just I stumbled upon a, an option which just solved my problem just like that so uh, going into the textures tab here we have the mapping 
so mapping since we have not uh, UV interrupted it uh, the coordinates would be generated but just below this we have a option called projection so this is now flat so that's why we get a very flat projection and these areas uh, we have the problem so if I change the uh, projection uh, from flat to sphere now take a quick render we see that the uh, texture is being placed properly as per the topology of the sphere and uh, we see that the concentration here actually where the uh, vertex, uh, all the vertex m meet at one particular point. Uh, so we going into the edit mode, we, we, we can see that all the vertex, all the edges converge onto one point here, the single point here. And uh, uh, generally we have a triangle here. Uh, that is what the topology of the sphere does. So naturally the texture placement is not going to be okay if we unwrap this and uh, proceed accordingly with the unwrapped uv coordinates of this particular but since uh, here we have not unwrapped and just applied directly a texture to it and uh, so we could just see on the top of uh, this sphere that the texture placement is very very correct so we don't have to worry about uh, just move the light So we see that the texture placement even at the top where the all the edges converge into one particular vertex point uh, even though there are triangles there the texture placement is uh, proper and very correct. Uh, so this is one uh, tip I would like to share I wanted to share with you. Uh, so just by changing the projection from flat so we have a different kind of a orientation here and just by changing into sphere we get a nice uh, decent uh, placement of the texture all over the topology of the sphere so this is one uh, quick tip which i'd like to share with you hope uh, this is useful for you uh, thank you for watching